Gentlemen, this is the Eiffel Tower. This is a sculpture made completely out of PLA 3D printing filament from a 3D printing pen. Ladies and gentlemen, this represents our literally hopes and dreams as you can see it was on display at FCSIT a monument once glorious which now stood on its side hobbled with a broken leg and a cracked torso ladies and gentlemen the original artist is unknown, but I, Abraham Chor, took it upon myself to fix this and to create this work of art. This is the Eiffel Tower in green PLA with a little bit of welding here and there. You can see the white plastic represents the wounds of life and the scabs that grow over it. It represents resilience. It represents strength. It represents our unbending will in the face of adversity. The fact that this broken and battered Eiffel Tower can still stand. It stands on hopes and dreams, ladies and gentlemen. This whole foot that once broken has, oh crap, I doxed myself, has been made whole again. It has been restored and now the tower stands on our hopes and dreams, ladies and gentlemen. This is part of my contribution. Black PLA and white PLA layered one upon the other. Upon the top, there is a smiley face made in white PLA. This represents happiness, whether a facade or genuine, internal, spiritual, emotional happiness that bubbles up from within and spreads light to its surroundings in pure, dazzling white glory. This tower is strong, it is sturdy, it stands with the other pieces of art you can see in the background. It stands strong. This is the rear view with a cameo of my finger. Ladies and gentlemen, on the other hand, you see the Eiffel Tower. This represents Hopelessness, darkness, on the days that we feel that failure has overwhelmed us. On the front, you can see the words I space F-E-L-L, -L, spelling out I fell, rhymes with fail. It indicates the darkness that looms within us every single time we face failure. This is done in black PLA with a flexible purple PLA heart. The top, instead of a happy face, has an angry face. And angry spectre looming above representing the darkest blackest nights of our lives 
This is not happiness, ladies and gentlemen. This is despair. This is sorrow. This is the days when we wake up crying and there's nobody there to help us. You can see, as part of the design, there are puzzle pieces from this side and further down at the bottom. Hard to make out because these puzzle pieces are what we perceive to be left of our wretched souls. Never able to fit in, never able to find another one to slot next to. And so these puzzle pieces float and waver through our lives, never able to find home. This is the Eiffel Tower. Its purple core represents what we do want trapped within a cage of darkness a little bit of color bound by the restrictions that we run into no matter how arbitrary no matter how heavy here they are they stand side by side the Eiffel Tower and the Eiffel Tower. Here you can see they are about the same height. They are about the same width. The Eiffel Tower has a name tag on it. It seeks to be known. The Eiffel Tower simply has hopes and dreams. Holding it up, it stands, it is stable, it is happy, it is, it is complete, even though it is wounded. The Eiffel Tower, it seeks, it floats, it is what we feel sometimes when dusk approaches and the stars don't come out for there are clouds even though it is night ladies and gentlemen here are the twin Eiffel Towers representing light and dark the Eiffel Tower resides somewhere in FCSIT. I do not know whether it has been dismantled, whether it has been thrown in the trash. These are simply small pieces of very insignificant art. The Eiffel Tower resides on my desk, its counterpart. It is a reminder, no matter what, we will stand. We will stand tall, whether in darkness or in light, in optimism or in pessimism. It does not matter whether we stand because we are filled with darkness, whether we stand because we are filled with light, what matters is that we stand we stand and we continue to do so in the hopes that one day we will be able to have something that stands the test of time something that holds our memories holds us holds what we believe holds our values whether we are positive whether we are negative whether we see the darkness or see the light in things what matters 
is that we stand. <laughs>